Your body is performing one of the most extraordinary acts of courage, which is bringing a new life into this world. But what happens during labor, and how can you prepare for its stage? In today's video, we will uncover the three stages of labor, from the first contraction to holding your baby for the first time. There are three stages of labor, the first, second, and third stage. The first stage of labor begins with the onset of uterine contractions and ends with complete cervical dilatation at 10 cm. This stage of labor is further divided into two phases, the latent phase and the active phase. The latent phase begins from the onset of uterine contraction to 4 cm of cervical dilatation. The normal duration of latent phase of labor is 8 hours. In this phase of labor, mild irregular uterine contractions gradually soften, shorten, and dilate the cervix. The active phase of labor often starts at 5 cm cervical dilatation to the time when the cervix becomes fully dilated at 10 cm. In this stage of labor, contraction becomes regular and stronger. The baby descends into the bad canal, leading to rapid dilatation of the cervix. At this time, you feel intermittent lower abdominal pain that goes to the back. The mucus plug at the cervical opening falls out, which can be seen as a mucoid discharge, sometimes mixed with blood. This refers to a show. The water also breaks during this period, which can be in forms of trickles or a gush of fluid through your vagina. The second stage of labor starts with complete cervical dilatation and ends with the delivery of the baby. At this stage, the cervix dilates up to 10 cm. The normal duration of second stage of labor is 2 hours without epidural analgesia and 3 hours for mothers on epidural analgesia. At this stage of labor, the mother feels the urge to push. The baby moves down the bad canal with each contraction and maternal pushing. At this time, the mother is encouraged to push during each contraction and relax in between. The baby's head distends the bad canal and does not recede in between contraction. This refers to as crowning. At this time, the healthcare provider assess the need for episiotomy, which is a surgical incision made on the vaginal opening to provide more space and ease the delivery of the baby. Maternal pushing and uterine contraction make the baby's head deliver through the bad canal. The baby's head rotates slightly and the front shoulder appear. With gentle traction from the healthcare provider, the baby's shoulders are delivered. Once the shoulders emerge from the bad canal, the rest of the body is delivered easily. This marks the end of the second stage of labor. The third stage of labor begins after delivery of the baby and ends with the delivery of the placenta and pital membranes. The baby is clean and dry with a clean and warm towel. In normal delivery, it is advocated to wait for at least one minute before cutting the umbilical cord. This makes the baby's transition from the womb to the outside wall easier and reduces the need for blood transfusion. The umbilical cord is clamped and caught in between the two clamps. Oxytocin is administered which helps the uterus to contract and separate the placenta from the uterine wall. Control contraction of the umbilical cord by the healthcare provider completes the delivery of the placenta. The episiotomy, if given earlier, is repaired and the mother is encouraged to bond with the baby through initiation of breastfeeding. Every labor experience is unique. By knowing what to expect, staying informed and listening to your body, you can approach your delivery with confidence and calmness. If you found this guide helpful, check the other pregnancy and childbirth videos on the channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.